Hello and welcome to another prep and pack with me for Disneyland. So if you've been following along, we actually were at Disneyland less than a month ago or like maybe about a month ago and we we're going back. Um, super short trip this time and actually Ailey and I, my toddler, she is two and a half. We are going to fly this time. Now we've never done this before so this is going to be a new experience so you know i'm going to try my best to document it because it, we've we've done many flights with her but um a few things one this is my first solo flight with her two we are flying spirit so that means personal items only because we're only going for a couple days otherwise i would have paid for like the carry-on or the check-in or something but just not necessary especially when like I can bring like a diaper bag and like I can gate check her stroller and all that stuff for free. It just wasn't necessary. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to prep snacks. So unfortunately, because we are flying, I can't like go with my usual like snack and food prep, which includes like bringing water and like emergency food um, because my toddler is a little bit of a picky eater. So. What I decided to do is I did, obviously I have to bring snacks. Um, maybe not necessarily for the flight, but we'll probably need it for the flight anyway. Hi, my toddler is running around with me here. Hi baby. Do you want your snack? Yeah. Okay, I'll get your snack ready. <laughs> yes, you want to eat? Okay. Due to time constraints, I was planning to film this during my toddler's nap time, but again, if you've been following along, nap may or may not happen i think it will but it may or not happen so and we need to get things done so we're getting things done so let me first show what we're going to bring regarding snacks and food seeing as how i can't bring as much as i normally would but also it's just for like two days like two and a half days but like kind of really just two days so we might we don't we don't necessarily need as much as we would need if that makes sense anyway let's go <laughs> So the first thing is her water bottle. I will not bring my water bottle this time, but I am going to bring hers because that is just the easiest way to have her drink ready for her. So this is coming. A collapsible snack cup with a lid to put her snacks in if we're on the go. I am bringing this little water bottle cap. So it's basically, it's from Daiso. It's literally, you just screw it on to like any standard water bottle. And instead of having to like screw on and off, you can just snap it up and have a little spout there. This is just for my personal convenience. It's not necessary, but bring it. Another item I am bringing is this little insulated water bottle bag. Um, this is also from Daiso. And like I said, because I'm not bringing my own water bottle, I still want to keep cool, so I'm bringing some essentials to help make that easier for me. I am bringing some utensils for my toddler. Whether, again, whether or not she uses them or not, I want to be prepared in this aspect. And it does actually help to have like real utensils sometimes, even if they're like toddler sized, because it can be super helpful just in any scenario. <laughs> um, I am going to pack my vitamins and cut some dark chocolate peanut butter cups as a treat for both me and Ailey. Got extra Ziploc baggies for anything and everything. Um, I am going to bring one food item and that's this tonkatsu ramen uh, because this can be cooked in the microwave and I know she likes it and it actually fits in our little petunia pickle bottom cooler bag here so it will fit in here so I can be able to put that on the bottom as like a base and then stack up the snacks. We are bringing two Z bars whether it be for like a quick like breakfast or a snack or something that's just uh we're just bringing it. Chocolate pandas I mean you can't see it in here but if you don't know what these are I'll pop a picture of what the box looks like. Um, some cereal snack and goldfish and Cheez-Its. So that's what we're bringing and we're gonna have it all fit into here minus 
the water bottle because I'm going to bring it empty and stick it in the uh, backpack that I'm bringing. So that way I can fill it once we um, get through security. <laughs> we have moved on to toiletries so the order in which I'm doing all of this packing is basically dependent on whether or not I'm going to need things so like I'm doing I did the snacks and stuff because I know I won't need like I won't necessarily need that specific cooler I don't need to open those snacks and like all those things that are in it I won't need that until we go the water bottle might be the only outlier but since that's separate I can easily you know use it wash it and then put it where you do so anyway, <laughs> we're doing toiletries next because everything that I'm packing is basically like a travel size or I'm going to make it a travel size. So if you haven't seen this in one of my videos before or just in general, this is from the brand called Cadence and it's just these little like containers but like travel size and they are magnetic to each other. So it kind of creates this little honeycomb little sorting stacking system so <clears throat> i use this and i basically just put in whatever i need into these if i know that whatever amount goes in here is enough for whatever trip i'm taking so let's get this set up so this is already this says conditioner but it's not conditioner it's this kristen s air dry cream i use it basically sometimes on freshly curled hair but usually like second day to kind of um because obviously like i've slept on it or you know it's just gotten, gotten a little messy so it's like i brush it out and then i use it on like the ends to smooth it out and also helps revive the curl a little bit especially if i'm not redoing the curl so this is already in here so we're doing that makeup remover we're gonna put this clean it zero um, from vanilla co cleansing balm twist opens up so it looks like that inside literally just taking a scoop no, close this up next we're gonna do sunscreen so i'm this is one of my favorite sunscreens so this is actually a new one so we're gonna open this up now i put way more than i need but you know sunscreen can never have too much sunscreen if we're being perfectly honest because you gotta take care of your skin like skin cancer is a real thing okay so the pink ones are Ailey stuff so this is going to be for her toothpaste this is the one we use for her has just like a touch of fluoride is that in body wash um <clears throat> originally i was going to bring this other thing but i think i can get away with just this this is the body wash we use next up so this is gonna sound a little crazy but i'm not bringing any moisturizer on this trip and the reason for that is because i started using this some by me repair toner um it is so moisturizing and i recently um picked up a tip from karen O on youtube and she does like a ton of like skincare specifically like korean skincare and just like her method of being like glass skin or you know putting like the moisture back into all that stuff like really good stuff anyway so she recommended this and along with recommending this she also suggests doing applying toner three times so it's like a layer of toner let it dry a layer of toner let it dry let it dry. and i've been doing that and it's only been a couple days but i like love it like i can feel my skin like it's just it feels really good and i want to keep up with that so what i'm going to do is <clears throat> i'm going to bring some of this toner and this little thing in this little came with a little funnel so we're gonna do this um hopefully i can get this to work let's try a slow <laughs> process because I don't want to mess up the bottle I use at home but okay that is definitely plenty <laughs> so here's my little toner and this is just one of those like that's 
next so another thing i have been using is this dialba spray serum it's light but i think it's really good for summer and i've just been using it in the morning but i decided i was like let me <clears throat> Let me just bring this instead of bringing two serums like that's silly and I do have this like spray bottle so it'll just make that and it'll just be perfect to have it already set up also just like in general like for future travel. So I do have to shake it up because the ingredients in it um, separate so I'm going to make sure it's all together before I transfer. And there is my spray serum. Last thing is body lotion for Ailey. Pump this in here for her. And you see it's like this kind of color because there's calendula, I think is what makes it this color, but I don't know, but anyway. And this is a pump, and then it does also have this little lock here, so it won't pump while, you know, it's not being used, so that <clears throat> and toothpaste i have a small one um toothbrushes will go in last obviously but i did find these little toothbrush covers from daiso they just like open up and you stick them in there and the other nice thing is that they have little suction cups you can like stick it to the mirror if you have nowhere to put it so that's what's gonna go in there i put hair stuff in here so we have dry shampoo my leave-in conditioner mini travel brush that we share i do not bring a separate brush for <laughs> me and ailey and then i have a bunch of extra hair ties so this is all going into this stony clover pouch um normally i have like a bigger um like big one big toiletry bag but because we're doing personal items only i am trying to utilize all the space that i have with like things separated out into smaller bags because I can actually fit more um, than if I were to just take up one huge space with the big toiletry bag. So that's what's going on here. I think this is gonna be the toiletry bag. I'm gonna bring a little spatula for my skincare stuff. So we're gonna put this in here. Okay, yes, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, love this. Um, this is also nice. I actually picked it up yesterday for this exact purpose. So this is great. This is going to work out beautifully. Let's see about that. So this is actually <laughs> the final <laughs> toiletry assortment. <Yes. laughs> Hello. So it is the next day. It is the day before we leave. So we really need to finish packing and prepping. So um, right now what we're going to do is we are going to pack up the personal item and that is going to be this bag right here so i did measure it and it did does fall within the um spirit personal item restriction size whatever whatever you want to call it um but i'm going to measure it again once it's full just to like ten thousand percent make sure because i've never flown spirit and I do not want to be caught in one of those situations where it's like I'm going to have to pay when I get there and blah, blah, whatever. So let's, so first I'm going to lay out all of the outfits for me and Ailey and then we're going to pack them up and get this bag ready to go. Okay, so we're going to start with the easy stuff first and that is Ailey's, Ailey's clothes. <laughs> so I have this little matching set from Walmart with Minnie and Daisy. She's actually, I'm going to put this in her this on her um, for the plane ride and then also for day one. And I have a little hoodie from Amazon, it just says a dream is a wish your heart makes. And this is, you know, just in case it's a little bit cold in the morning, which it probably will be. Then day two is going to be this Rapunzel dress. This is from Only Little Once. Um, I buy them off Etsy, but I know they have their own site. But anyway, I'll, I'll link it if you're curious because this is the same place I got her frozen fever dress, which I love. So I'm gonna bring this white biker shorts for underneath. And then I'm bringing one pair of like leggings um, for like nighttime in case it is a little bit chilly. And then we'll just bring the same hoodie out with us. So that way she can still wear the dress if she wants to. And then day three, which is also like going home outfit is, um, same set from Walmart, but just with Anna and Elsa from Frozen. And then I have an extra evening outfit, which is just like this matching um, shirt dress and leggings 
in case she does get cold like either day one or if she wants to change day two like it's it's all kind of can mix and match like these pants can go here and then we can just change her completely but we do i do want to make sure i have evening options for her in case it goes get a little bit chilly and then this pile is literally just pajamas underwear socks all those things that are not really that exciting <laughs> okay now we have my stuff laid out i decided to go super super minimal like i'm talking so minimal that i'm only bringing <laughs> one like any like purse bag whatever and i think i'm just gonna bring one ear like i think i'm just gonna do like the classic mini because all of my outfits are basically black and white <laughs> so travel day is this free people hot shot set um, it's like the matching top and biker shorts and then black tank top underneath. And then I have this um, denim looking hoodie from Fabletics that I'm going to wear on top or it's going to be my just in case it gets cold option. I haven't decided day one, day two, day three kind of thing with me just because it'll just depend on that day, I guess. Um, but I have this white linen set that um, I also showed these both these outfits I showed in my Disney parks like spring summer edition. Um, so I will link that if you wanted to watch that and you haven't because that's I style them differently than I'm going to style it now. But yeah, um, I already showed you the accessories and then I have this little um, tennis skirt that I literally just got. Um, I might not even wash it. I might just maybe steam it um just to get some wrinkles out just because i don't know we'll see i if i have time to wash it i will but um and just this black t-shirt it's like a crop but it's not super cropped so nothing's showing nothing's exposed and then i am bringing a pair of black like joggers um but they're this kind of not nylon i don't know what you call this material but it's it's light and it folds up really small and it'll be good and obviously it'll just go with all the outfits should I need pants <laughs> all right so now that we have all the clothes finally like settled let's pack it all up okay so there it is like it's not ugh. <laughs> it's not zipped up because I still need to put in like our toothbrushes and my makeup um and I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that skirt. But otherwise, this is it. Like this is well compact. Um, there's plenty of room, so I could fit some other stuff, which I might. And just to you know show the um, measurements, let's let's actually do the measurements real quick. So we're going length is exactly 18. So here's here and yeah, literally 18. <laughs> And I believe the depth is like nine. Ours is like barely eight or like barely at eight. And the height, maybe the height was 14, I want to say. I think this is about 14. If I have any of the measurements wrong, I will correct myself. But yeah, so this works. And this bag also, I will link below. This is from Amazon and it's pretty good. I haven't used it a ton, but the times I have used it, it's been pretty good and it's coming in particularly clutch this time so okay next up we are going to pack the other personal item but really it's going to be like the diaper bag just in case they like try to like question me on it but it's it's just a backpack so normally if you had seen my compact stroller and what's in my park bag setup i have like a small mini stony clover princess backpack but because I'm also trying to, you know, minimize the number of bags I'm bringing, because it's just me. Um, I'm going to try to fit everything into this backpack that I need. And luckily, since I have all that room in the other bag, I will fill that one up a little bit more, um, just kind of based on what I got going on here. So let's start. <laughs> all right, so what I'm doing here is I have, this like big pouch and it's just gonna have Ailey's stroller fan because I am going to gate check her stroller and car seat so I don't want to have anything like attached to it that could get lost or damaged. Um, I have a very skinny small umbrella both for sun and 
if randomly it decides to rain there is no rain on the forecast but you never know especially these days <laughs> um i have a little rolled up sun hat for ailey um because last time we were not ready for the sun and i don't know why like normally i'm so good about that but yeah we both got a little bit burnt so that was not fun um i have bubble solution this is unopened um because this is going to be for her bubble wand this is the one we got on our last trip um the only thing is I have solution in here and I don't want to keep it in there so I need to empty this so I'm trying to find a container to put this in so I could bring this empty and then just fill it up when we get there so that's the plan but then the bubble wand will go in here once um this is off so that's the plan for this the tush baby this is because I'm bringing this I have to bring this um these are gonna go in the car seat bag um when i gate check it a few other essentials that i'm bringing besides what's normally in here hair coloring book i have my usual wipes backpack uh, wipes wipes and external battery so that's and again i'm you know what? i'm not going to go into super detail with this because um i do have like a full like listing of like what's in like my mom bag and what's in my um park bag so it's essentially all the same things the only things that are new are i'm going to be bringing a hand fan in addition to the stroller fan because if we're in line or if like i need the fan like i want to have one ready to go so this this and then this little pouch with the magic band puck I should actually stick that in here so I don't forget. These are going to go in my fanny. So I'm going to keep these to the side. Let's see, I have some emergency candy in here to go along with the cooler that I've already packed. Um, her water bottle already showed. I have new packs of disinfectant and wet ones um, just so I don't have to bring extra. I have her first aid kit. And this is also something new, not new, but like that I'm going to bring this time is the Solar Buddy. And this is basically a way to apply sunscreen without having to use your hands. So this is really nice. I just need to fill it back up because it is a bit empty. And yeah, so that's going to go. And then I have a few just like camera things in here um, that I can actually just probably pack away um, in the other bag because i don't think i'm gonna need it um yeah and then i'm going to put a bunch of her little figurine toys in here um she's been playing with it a ton lately and it'll just be good um and it doesn't take them space and it'll be a really good toy to bring all right so we're gonna get all this packed up and put away and get ready for tomorrow the last thing i am adding to my stroller setup and i will kind of show what all this looks like on our travel day if you're curious to see like what the full end result is this is just kind of prepping and packing but i do have this stroller caddy that i put on our compact stroller sometimes um the reason why i'm bringing it this time is because i want to make sure i have enough places to put things um in case i need to put something somewhere <laughs> is basically what it's coming down to so i I'm going to kind of do like all the last minute things but for the most part that is it like we are almost ready to go it's just going to be day of things making sure everything is together and i can actually maneuver everything that's the one thing i'm going to practice and i will show you guys in the travel day video otherwise yeah this is going to be it so um i hope you enjoy this little prep pack with me for a short disneyland trip but one that we are flying and minimally packed before or as minimal as you can with a toddler <laughs> all right so um yeah i hope you enjoyed if you like content like this please be sure to subscribe and like the video and i will see you in the next one bye